So tell me about your aims. What is your organisation after doing? So Extinction Rebellion is a, a, a movement, I guess, of, and it's a global movement. We're in about sort of 50 or 60 countries around the world. But it's growing really quickly. We're basically we're ordinary people who are just incredibly deeply concerned about, the, about climate change and, <coughs> and ecological breakdown. Um, and we've really come together, I suppose really you would say, after many decades of sort of polite campaigning, you might say, conventional campaigning, whatever you want to call it, which just have failed miserably to achieve anything um, and have really come together with a focus on using non-violent civil disobedience to try and effect change. So in the papers and things, uh, particularly some papers, um, they've taken a really negative attitude to what you're doing. Does that bother you particularly? So um, all protest, I mean all forms of protest, whether it's a, a strike or a march or obviously civil disobedience, the whole purpose is to disrupt to bring to bring to light, to bring to the attention of the authorities, if you like, an issue that desperately needs addressing. Um, so, you know, in that sense, the, the protests, if you like, are achieving what we're setting out to do, which is disruption to highlight an issue. I mean, unfortunately, it's the issue itself that often doesn't get covered by the press, and they, they obviously hone in on the, on the things that they can criticise and, and the detail and so on. Um, but we, you know, XR is a non-violent movement, um, and we, we're sticking to that. Uh, so, does it bother me? Um, I, I'm deeply concerned about climate, the climate change, um, climate issues. So, this is part of how we hope to achieve our, our aims to get the government to act. I hear people talking, I say things like, they shouldn't disrupt people going to work, people have got to make a living, um, it's ruining the economy. Uh, what do you say to those people? Obviously, we understand that people are annoyed. We, you know, and when we do, when we do actions, we we try and apologise for them at the time. In the sense, we apologise for disrupting people's lives. But that's sort of the point. We're trying to create a stir. We're trying to get this issue into the news. Um, I mean, there's a, a wide variety of people involved in Extinction Rebellion. People from all walks of life, from all backgrounds, etc. We've got. All, you know, a whole range of people and this, this movement actually this time around the rebellion has involved um, a lot of scientists, we've got a lot of NHS staff, we've got faith groups teachers, young people, children ex-police officers, you name it you know, everybody's involved here we know we're causing disruption, that's the point um, it, but we, we're not apologising for trying to bring the issue to light if, if government was quicker on acting on this we wouldn't obviously have to, have to do this and if people say, well, you're, you're disrupting ordinary people trying to go about their, their lives, that's really the point. I mean, obviously, London's full of disruption all the time. We're very aware of that. And some police have said that to us, that, you know, actually, you're not causing a lot more disruption than happening in London anyway, because it's a complex city with a lot of congestion, and obviously all kinds of things happen. So if people want to get involved, if people say, yeah, this, uh, the environment is very dear to me and I know this is the last chance that we've got, how do people get involved? What can they do? So um, if people, local people are listening and they're interested to find out a bit more, then yeah, they can go online. We have a website, we have a Facebook page and Facebook group, so they can literally sign up to a mailing list or a newsletter, sign up to you know, follow, follow us on Facebook. We have, um, and then they would get information about uh, meetings that we hold and obviously activities and actions that we, we work together to plan. So, um, and there's a national mailing list, obviously, national website, so people can find out a lot more about the movement and read up on what we're about. And also, importantly, the science. I think um, it's really important that, as you, as you just mentioned, we have very little time now, and actually without very urgent action, um, and scientists agree. In fact, we've got a 1,000 scientists signed up to XR saying that civil disobedience is now the only means left try and get the government to act now. So without the government and the media telling the truth and deciding to get on and that's the government acting about this, you know, we really are heading business as usual approaches to, to this. We are heading for very serious sort of um, temperature rises which are are going to be devastating, you know, globally. So we have to take a lead. Um, but yeah, it's very easy to get involved and we're welcome everyone. Um, everybody's welcome to contribute in whatever way they can. We are peaceful, non violent movement and uh, we hope very much that people will take time to, to think carefully and, and try and read beyond the, you know, certain the, 
the right, you know, the sort of slightly right wing press um, and the sort of hate that comes through with all these sort of things uh, and try and see beyond that and see, really think about the issue. Um, and in fact, yeah, let's all work together. If we work together, we may be able to pressurise the government into doing what they're supposed to be doing, which is protecting us all. So, I've heard, um, the final question, I've heard government spokesmen say, oh, but we're doing much better than anybody else has ever done before and, and we've really got a green agenda. Um, what do you say to that? That's a really interesting point. I mean, a little while ago we were doing quite well in one area um, of our economy, which was in um, building up our renewable energy and sort of delivering more renewable energy, but that actually has plateaued off. And in every other sector of our economy and our lives in the UK, we're actually performing very poorly. So, for example, in trans the transport sector, emissions are rising, you know, certainly domestically and in other areas of our economy. We're really not doing very well at all. In fact, we're failing on, I think, virtually all of our Paris Agreement targets. Um, so there's a lot of greenwash about. We have to all be careful of that. I think my, my advice is to go and look at the science, go and look at the XR site. They refer to lots of scientific sources for information. Um, and it's the scientists that we are guided by and we trust. We've got scientists advising XR so that we can.